When Tim arrived in Glasgow, I'm asking myself the question, how does a 61 or 62-year-old man become a man in his late 80s? So we had a, a very good makeup person, Christine Kant, and she found a way of, of addressing the age visually. And the rest of it was done with Tim by some peculiar thing he did with balance in his body. He showed it to me that very first morning he arrived in, in Glasgow. And I was talking one minute, I was talking to a 61 year old, and the next minute I was looking at a really old man, you know? Well, <laughs> I'm here to tell you I didn't have to have much makeup. I mean, we're a brilliant makeup artist called Christine Kant, who's done everything from French and saunas to movies to our first work with her 30 odd years ago in Pakistan on a TV. So she's done everything. So, but what she does is something very subtle. Uh, and I discussed it with her and as I did with Gillis, that it wasn't about the prosthetics, it was about physicality about what you do. I mean, you get to a certain age where, you know, you're old anyway, so you're, you're, there's different degrees of it. And a lot of it is to do with how it affects you from the inside and what it does to your body, what it does to your delivery, what it does to your face in, from the inside. So as to whether I've achieved that, I don't know. But that is what I worked on from as I try and always do it from the inside out rather than the other way around. Now when you look at the film, there is one scene where Tim appears to be his real age. And because he's, I think, so convincing as this old man, you think, my God, how did they get him to look so young? If you know, you get so, so bought into this, this character. So working with Tim for me was great fun. I mean, I worked with many, many, many actors over a long space of time and some great actors, but I'm, I'm not sure I ever talked to an actor as much. Now, all of that was great because he has certain kind of preoccupations as an actor, Tim, you know, props and things. He's, he, he's got to get it all sorted in his head. But once he has, I mean, he was going on there and shooting in one and two takes quite often because our schedule required that and without any fuss at all, because all this work and all this talk seem to have gotten to a point set him free. Please, 800 miles away from you, start. If any of our lovely listeners are out and about today, keep your eyes peeled for a mystery pensioner. We should have gone home when you asked me to. I'll get us there. I promise. Come to me. It's weird how a bunch of lyrics put What are you doing out at this time of night? You're coming home with us. Tom's travelling. For my wife. Well, I hope you make it. The trees and fields block the city where your lover. I think I know you. You are a brave man. And tonight you don't want to go home. And today you'd rather stay. And see your heart much rather than I love you, Tom. Burn your home.